The next is the 183 to the 37. Because the first come, first in. So you can add the this, and this, and this, and this, finally this. It's a total amount of distance, moving distance, which is equal to the sig time. So we will consider such a uh, moving distance as a sig time. Then, what is the total? It's a 640. So it's a 640, the moving so distance. It's one cylinder equal to this one track. So actually, cylinder, each syndrome has their the track, OK? If they are the same track number, we consider as the cylinder. So cylinder means a group of track which are the same number of track. Okay, same position of the track. So this is called the cylinder, and each one has the track. So this is the cylinder number. What track number? It doesn't matter. Okay. So next, obviously. This is not the optimal solution. We don't have to move forward and backward because we have already the request in the queue, this amount of queue. So the current position is a 53. Why don't we visit the nearest one first? Which one is the nearest one? 65, right? Yeah. So we can visit the 61, that is the here from 53. So 65, next. From the 65, which one is the nearest one? 67. It's a 67. Then from the 67, which one is the nearest one? That is the 37. 98. 98. 98. 98. Then 98. Oh, so you're looking at the distance. Yeah, distance. 97 minus 67 is a 30. And from the 67, 37. That's, uh, 30. This is a 30. This is a 31. Okay. So we are going to visit the closest one. Should is the distance. The request first. Okay. Then from the 37, which one is the nearest one? That is the 14. Okay. Then from the 14, which one is the nearest one? 98. Then 122, 124, then finally 183. Then you can sum up this, 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 this. Then it will be 283. This is the surest sick time first. Okay? It's a SSTF surest sick time. Why don't we compare with the first compressor? First compressor is a total 640. Okay, it doesn't consider any the optimal or whatever, just consider arrival time in the queue, the, the queue. So should is the sick time from the current location. This is from the current location of the head, but it's the nearest one. So it's the least normally locally optimal. It's not overall optimal, right? So because it's a locally, from the current position, it's a locally optimal. Total is a 236. Okay. Any other better way? Best way? Can we ascend it or descend it and then we? Which means current position is here. Why don't we? Even though there is the request over here, why don't you move it either this way or this way? Start either way. Okay. If currently this arm is moving this way from lower to so moving forward, lower to higher, then this is all the request along the path. Then going back and first. Just going back and first based on the current, the state of, of the queue that is called scan. Okay, so scan algorithm is called the elevator algorithm. Why? The elevator. So usually up and down, there is an elevator algorithm, but simplest way is elevator is always moving up and down, up and down, no matter who is the 
right for the takeoff. Okay, just up and down. This is called the scan algorithm. Is the, this gun is moving current direction. Okay, current direction. Then the visit all the requests along the path and moving forward, backward. Then visit all the requests because sometimes in the middle of the processing there might be new requests in the queue. So you're saying if it's going forward, it will uh, visit all the incremented. Yes. Uh, so. Moving forward, if there is any the request, visit. The with the data return, it doesn't matter. So no matter when was requested, we can just return. Uh, okay. Then going back. That is the scan algorithm. Okay. So this slide show. So in this time, assume that. Okay. We are going to assume that this arm is currently moving this way. Okay. That might be possible. The disk arm is moving forward, lower to, from here to here. But in this case, we assume this arm is moving the higher to lower cylinder number. Okay? Then, current position is 53. From the 53, the next one is the, among the lower than 53, this one, this one. Okay, so we can visit the 14. Okay? Then next one is, uh, the 37. 37. 37, add up the this, and 14. Then we touch, we visit up to zero. Why? There might be chance, there might be chance that there is a new request to access between the, this one. So we are going to visit until end of the cylinder, end of the cylinder number. Then if we touch the lower one, so we add, even though there is no request for the zero, we visit the zero and add up this amount as a distance. Then forward. If there is a new request in between, like the, when we visit the zero, if there is a request like the 30, we can visit the 30, cylinder number 30. Okay? Then forward, add up. Add up, add up, add up. So for for the right side, you don't go until 199. Well, if there is a because at this time there is no other, so we can stop. We don't have to move, right? But if there are requests, then we can up to the here, then going back. For example, we have request of the 100 at this time. Okay, then we can visit the 199 and go back to 100. So if we have to go backwards, then we have to go until the end and come. Yes, back. always touch the end. Why? First reason is there might be chance the new request. Okay, and also if we position the this part and start going back, it's more complicated. In hardware mechanism, touch the, the end is much simpler. Okay? So that is a reason always touch if there are requests. There is any request, touch the end, touch the end. Otherwise, if there is no request, you don't have to move. Just to stop. Wait until there are new requests. And how do we know that there's a new request? The, you need to manage the queue. The queue okay? The queue, if there's a new the item, then the you can. However, are you completely sick time? Are you completely sick time? Are you not? Sick time? Yeah, that's what I'm going to. This time, how can you calculate the sick time? Add up all the distance. That means from the 53, add up this amount. 53 minus 37. Something. And 37 minus 14. Something. 14 minus 0, that's 14. And next one is uh, 65 minus 0. And add up all of this. However, you don't have to do that. Why? <coughs> this is a really common mistake. 53 to 0 is 53. It's always, you need to touch the end. Which means if you start from the 53, it's the amount of 53. Right? So this is the. Uh, 
83, and from the here to n is 183, right? So this is the 183 plus 63, 236. This is simple. Don't, do not calculate, do not add up the piece by piece in this scan algorithm. So then many of the students who the mistake, the, this one, I know the algorithm, but I mistake from arithmetic, addition, or summation. But if you can, just a simple math, like the, this, if you understand scan algorithm, it's very simple to calculate the sick time as a distance. Okay. Another variation of the scan is the C scan, because here, we need to check the whether there exists a, when we move to the forward, we need to check the whether there exists a request in the queue. Okay? You need to check. And moving backward, you need to check. So that is more complicated. So why don't we just check one way? Okay? So which means when we read the data, for example, the forward, uh, when we when the head is moving forward, we can read the data. Then backward, we do not read the data. Just moving forward, we read the data by ascending order. Wait. It's ascending. Why? In this case, it's a small, right? It's a very small the queue size, but in real the implementation, how many IO will be in the so many IO. So you need to find the nearest one, you need to find the next one. It takes a time to find it. So to minimize the calculation, so we'd like to find only ascending order. Okay? That is called the C scan. The C scan means the one way. So suppose that the disk arm is moving the forward, the lower to higher in our example. I will specify or I will give the hint the where is the direction of the moving arm, okay? Either lower or higher. Well, if I give the head start at 53 and previous position is 50, okay? That means it's moving forward. So it was a 50, so then car does the current position is a 53, which means moving this way, something like that. So in this case, moving forward. So we read the data moving forward, which means this one. And touch the uh, end of the cylinder. Then going back, we do not read any data. But we need to consider this amount of the distance for the sixth time. Okay? Even though we do not read the data, we need to consider. Then Start from the zero and read the data. Until in this case, 50, 37. <coughs> what is the sick time? What is the sick time? Why don't you calculate? Yeah. One, three, Definitely, this is a final exam question. <laughs> 20 points worth. <laughs> <laughs> but based on my experience, not many students actually the correct the answer. Most of the case is a mistake of the addition or summation. But in this case, you don't have to subtract all that piece by piece, right? What is the total sick time distance? Three? Anyone? Anyone else? How can you calculate? You don't have to add up the piece by piece. We start from the 53, right? 53 to where? 199. And 199 minus 53. So 1, 63, 6. A 1, 40, 6. Then, this is a 199. It's not 200. Okay? 0 to 1 is 1. 
0 to 199 is 199. That's another common mistake. I cannot, it cannot be excused. Many students consider this one is a 200 because I said the 200 cylinder in the question, 0 to 199. Okay? So it's a 199 plus how much? 37. You can just add up three number. Yeah? You will get the thoracic time. Okay? I'm not very good at it. <laughs> so I'm going to allow to use a calculator. Okay? You can bring a calculator, not your cell phone. In the final design. Okay, if you want, you can bring your calculator. Any question? So we have one more, but first come first serve. You need to add up piece by piece. But if you are smart, you can add up the, this one, this one, this one, to minimize any calculation. So that is the first come first serve, surely step. The near lift, uh, not near so. The first come, first serve. Okay? Then the surely step time first is the nearest one from current position. Some of the students find the from the initial point. Then which one is the nearest one, but it's a current, from the current position, which one is the nearest one. Also, if you can draw the such a trajectory, it's a much easier to calculate the total distance, six time. Okay? This is the surest the six time first. Next one is a scan scan, means a scan the whole entire. Okay, both sides, which means if the disc gun is moving backward from higher cylinder to the lower cylinder number, it moves the this way, touch the end, and going back to the higher cylinder. Along the path, you can read the data. However, if there is no more the entry in the queue, you don't have to read, you can stop. Otherwise, keep moving. Then what if you have the another incoming data going back? and force back and force if there are streaming of the entry incoming entry. That is a scan. Okay. Also this time, do not waste all your time to calculate the piece by piece. Okay, usually it doesn't work. The most of the, we are not genius on the mathematics, <laughs> the it will be a mistake. So please, add up this and this. That's pretty much enough. The next one is the C-scan. C-scan is the same as the scan, but it's only one way. Okay, so one way, but it needs to touch it, the end. So assume that the current position is a 53 and moving forward, which means a 0 to 199 direction. So you can read all the data. This one, even though we do not have the request 199 and touch the end, and going back to the beginning, starting position. Okay, even though there exists the request of the data, We'll be quickly back and read the data, okay, to simplify the problem. That is the system. Also, at this time, when you calculate, so this is not the 200 the distance, it's 199. And you don't have the piece by piece, you can just uh, from here to here, and here to here, and here to here, add up at this total six time. Okay, any other idea? Any other? What about the, this one, zero and n? Still, it's a waste of space. What if, in case we have the data, but so still waste of the space. So why don't we just stop if there's no more data or going forward? If in this case, the scan, so. If we do not have the data for this from here, we change the direction. So if we, there's no more data, if there's uh, another request, like the, this way. Okay? We do not touch the end of the cylinder, instead the stop, the current position. That is C loop. Okay? C loop is kind of the combination of that. So, this start from the 53, current position is a 53. Okay, then we assume the disc arm is moving this way. Okay, then visit all of them. 
here we do not touch the not 199 and going back to here then do not touch here going to here and then you calculate the total sick time why don't you try okay we do your scratch paper ID and name and answer, then you can leave. So today the lecture is done. Okay. Okay.